Well, a little bit. Uh, I, I think I remember talking to you last year uh, around mm -hmm. this time at the tournament uh, at a different course. But uh, what, what's it like to, to come here and, and sort of get uh, ingrained in the community and in charities like this? It's amazing. Obviously, two in incredible causes with the kids and with the for Cancer Society and then the Ben Selter Fund. And for us players, it's, we're, we're here and it's great to, to, to be in Edmonton this early and, and it's great to, to support um, the community in this way. When I look at you and I and you mentioned Ben, I remember at the podium, I think that's one of the lasting memories of mm -hmm. uh, him beside you and, and getting involved in that. And uh, it's such a wonderful way his parents are here and just to continue this little guy's uh, spirit yes. with events like this. Yeah, like you said, he's just such a, an infectious personality and it just came natural to him. And uh, when we were on stage for the first time there, it was like he was, he was a pro. It's like he'd, he'd done it before and he, he completely controlled the room and, and, and you guys more, more than I ever could. So um, that, that was a, a great memory. And then uh, as the season went on, obviously the team got to know him more and, and get closer to him and his family. So uh, to have, a, he's got a hole here, obviously, to, so to have his hole. Um, and it's themed, I think it's Mickey Mouse theme this year. So that was, he always carried his Mickey Mouse uh, at the glass. So to have that uh, is, is something I think uh, all the players will, will, it'll really resonate with us. And uh, you know, just to keep his, keep his memory going. As you've, as you've sort of been in order the last couple of years, like if you've have you've seen personal connections with families like the Stelters and I'm sure others we don't even know about, and then I don't know if you ever look up during a game and see Jesus the 50-50s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't pay attention to the 50-50, but it yeah I, I've heard it. Uh, what is it the the biggest in professional yeah. sports or something like that? So um, lots of support out of Edmonton, obviously. So it's it's pretty awesome. And then yeah, I think. The more you, the longer you're here, the more you're involved in the community, and the, the, the more you can form relationships with, with other people who are in the community, right? So, uh, it's important to to give back, and and this is a great event to support two great charities that that give back to to people in need and, and to kids in need. Um, and if we can be a small part of that, then it's it's awesome. And what it's like for you, what's it like for you being ingrained in the fabric of oil country? I mean, last night you were auctioned off and you were part of the hot stove and, and you've been in it for a couple of years now. So just personally, what is it like for you? It's great. Yeah, it, it's it's all fun. The auction's a fun time, obviously. Um, raise a lot of money. You can see where you go in the draft or whatnot. So um, my golf game isn't great. So hopefully the team that drafts me is aware of that. But uh, yeah, it's great to be a part of the community. It, it makes you, when you join a team, you want to be not just part of the team, but be a part of the, the city and the community. And these are, are ways that we can kind of embed ourselves uh, with the community because uh, the fans, you know, give us everything, right? It's, it's, it's why we play. And maybe just a comment on the hot stove last night. Those kids did a really good job. Uh, yeah, they were great. They were, uh, they were throwing some, uh, some hard balls, but uh, no, they were, it, they were saying they're all nervous before, but they seem like they're in their comfort zone and they, they, they nailed it.